Jackson that he's not a master yet. He felt to tell you it was Friday he became a junior master. He was raised a fourth time. Fourth time Friday. I had him in my two list years ago as a student, many, many years ago. Never had a chance to give him a double of any kind. But tonight, today, that's changed. Surprise. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Hey, you might say yo, go go. Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of the Takuru Goshen Jitsu Dojo, Raj Academy, I present to you for me and my, my students here a certificate from American Federal Jiu Jitsu. I you as a honorary black belt in American Thank you. He got me. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? I'll be happy to. Talk later, but we got some important business to do here. Okay, Q and A, Senpai Scott. You like Shayo? Now your miss is Senpai Scott. A Q, which means he's the first to be brown. And Joshua Lu Jitsu, Akiyama Lu Jitsu. He's now setting the night for his black belt. So let's welcome him to the warm cup. Q and A. Okay. Question. All right, Mr. Scott, give us a little background about yourself. Tell us what prompted you to study martial arts and which discipline or disciplines have you studied? My name is Kwame Anthony Scott. I'm the oldest son of ten children, seven boys and three girls, two Bill and Marcus Scott, who still living. I've been married since 1975 to the lady with the silver hair. He asked us, he said he'd been shacking, but we've been together since 1975. <laughs> we have a daughter in the mid thirties. She couldn't be here because she had to handle her business. She had to work. I go to her to work and be here. And then we have a canine daughter, named Zinga, and a feline granddaughter named Isis. I graduated from Chicago Public Schools. My experience is in teaching elementary school, fifth and sixth grade, high school mathematics, and also I coach high school football and track. I uh, became administrator, assistant principal, principal of the middle school, principal of the high school. I uh, currently do consulting work, work with high school math teachers, elementary school math teachers, helping reach our babies much better in mathematics. Being a football coach and track coach, fitness and health has always been important to me, but being able to defend what you have is also important. So martial arts has been important to me, but I want to learn it. And I taught in Hanover, Massachusetts. I learned a little karate. I came to Chicago, had a little Tai Chi. I met Sheehan Keith in the early 2000s. He had Sam said, you want to learn self-defense. I've been with him ever since. We've had self-defense. We had Shitoto. We had Chenna. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu. And what prompted me is to be able to protect me and my family. Okay, uh, where did Jiu-Jitsu originate? Jiu-Jitsu originated in China. What is the known length of its history. Over 2,000 years. What style of jiu-jitsu do you study and what year was it founded and by whom? I study Akiyama Yoshimi Jiu-Jitsu. It was founded by Akiyama Yoshitoki in 1632. Is it true that Kotokan Judo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and even a style of karate, Wadoru, Descended from Yoshinru Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. In your training syllabus, what does Junbi Undo and Shumatsu Undo relate to? Junbi Undo is warming up before you practice. And Shumatsu Undo is cooling down after practice. Explain the principle of teacher-student relationship. The principle of teacher-student relationship is one of respect and rapport. The teacher is to help us to develop and understand the martial arts. The tutor role is to be able to follow the lead. It's almost like the copycat. The sensei is always correct. Explain Tanden as it relates to martial arts. Tanden is universal energy that you capture through your breathing in the lower part of your abdomen. And you're storing this energy up. And so when you're executing your techniques, whether it's a strike, block, or kick, you're expelling it as you did when you went through your collars. You did your... Yeah! Or whatever 
sound you make, you was expelling some of that energy you, do, you develop in your tendon. What does waza mean? Waza means technique. Okay, we have a, a number of techniques, and I will ask you, what are the following techniques? Ate waza. Ate waza is striking techniques. Gary waza. Gary waza is kicking techniques. Uke waza. Uke waza is blocking techniques. Ukemi waza. Ukemi waza is break falling techniques. Konsetsu waza. Konsetsu waza is joint locking techniques. Osai okomi waza. Osai okomi waza is holding techniques. Fusegi waza. Fusegi waza is escape techniques. Furimi waza. Furimi waza is avoidance techniques. Tachi waza. Tachi waza is standing techniques. Te waza. Te waza is hand techniques. Ashi waza. Ashi waza is leg techniques. Koshi waza. Koshi waza is hip techniques. Nage waza. Nage waza is throwing techniques. Buki waza. Buki waza is weapon techniques. Atemi waza. Atemi waza is vital point striking techniques. Shimi waza. Shimi waza is strangulation techniques. Goshin jutsu. Goshin jutsu is self defense techniques. What does renraku waza mean? Renraku waza means combination of techniques. Explain the importance of break falls. Break fall is to minimize the energy to your body, to minimize the injury to your body if you're thrown down. What does hapo no kuzushi mean? Hapo no kuzushi means you can control your opponent in eight different directions to set them up for a throw. I'd like for you to tell us what kyosho, kyusho jutsu means and explain why it was kept secret. Kyushu Jitsu is called instant impact striking because where it strikes you can either cause concussion, you can cause um, someone to be, you can also cause death with it. Okay? It was kept secret because you don't want any student to learn this information and take it out into the streets and injure someone because of its detriment to someone. Mm -hmm. So only the most trusted and honest student were, were taught the Kyushu Jitsu. Have you received any Kyushu Jutsu training, and if so, to what extent? We've, yes, I have training at, a, at the uh, minimum level. We have not moved to the advanced level. Okay. What part of the body are you attacking when you strike a kick? Myojo? Myojo is the below the abdomen. Jujiro? Jujiro is your shoulder. Danchu? Danchu is your shoulder plate. It's your sternum. Nodo? Nodo is your throat. Tell us. What is the meaning of Bushido? Bushido means the way of the warrior. As the senpai in your dojo, name some of your responsibilities. So my responsibility is to work with the sensei to help our students with instruction. Also, the students, I perform in a technique, and then move to the side, I move over to work with the students. We have the role of model as each one teach one. I also help keep the dojo clean, and to make sure that we keep aware of our responsibilities as a, as, a, as a class. What does Hane mean? Hane means to spring forward. Were you trained using both English and Japanese terminology? If so, what was your preference? My preference to learn both Japanese and English. Okay, I'm going to have a little trouble with this one maybe, but what does Anato no Toki Kui Waza Nandesuka mean? That means, what is your favorite technique? Itachi no Tokui Waza Naga, Naga Ta Atoshi. Hi, so this. What is your favorite technique? My favorite technique is the uh, body drop. All right. What does nage komi and uchi komi mean? Nage komi is practice throwing. Uchi komi is setting up to get ready for the throw without throwing. Okay. What is kumite? Kumite is sparring. Okay. Have you heard the term jiu kumite? Jiu kumite. Jiu kumite. Have I heard of it? Yes. Term? Okay, do you know what that is? No, you haven't heard of it. No. All right, that's like freestyle, everything goes. It's in Randori. So what is Randori? <laughs> freestyle. All right, okay. <laughs> Would you encourage family members and friends to study martial arts, and if so, why? Yes, I would encourage them to study martial arts because now at one time you used to be one fool on the block, now you can't tell who's straight, who's straight, who's not. And one must be able to protect yourself and also be aware of your surroundings by taking martial arts and become more aware of what's going on around you. Okay, I forgot one. I'm sorry. My bad.
Explain the six-step process. The six-step step, six process is first is observation. The student must be able to observe what techniques that the sensei or teacher is demonstrating. The second one is to persevere, which means stick with it, don't give it up. Third one is called technique. Learn what steps, what's, how he's moving, how he's holding, what he's doing, the techniques to make the throw happen. The fourth one is called repetition. You've got to be able to practice what you're doing. The third one is called experimentation, which means find out at what point can you execute these different techniques. And the last one is called self-evaluation, to be able to evaluate yourself and see how well you're doing. Okay. I'd like to just share one thing with the group that I shared with him earlier today. This is a very significant moment. I'm, I'm privileged to be here because I've been around the Garage Academy for a while and I have watched him grow as a martial artist. A couple things, one of them is, do you know what a black belt is? Black belt means I've just graduated from black belt from uh, kindergarten. All right. Black belt is a white belt that didn't quit. Right. <laughs> black belt is a white belt that did not quit. And the way you become an even better martial artist and go higher is to keep going through the door. Yes. All right. Master Keith. Hey. You should now perform his actual hands-on techniques. Now bear in mind, we will not be going full speed simply the fact that we won't get hurt. So he'll be showing you some very significant things you can do as far as self-defense goes. First we're going to go to Magiwaza. <coughs>
Jerry was up. My Yankee call me Jerry. Mikey, come here. Good for you, okay? Come here, come here, Mikey, come here. Kiss it, Gary. Kiss it, Gary. From behind. Who come here, Gary? Who come? Hey. Bring it to the stairs. Bring it to the crowd, just there. There's a deer. He got me in the choke. His foot back here on his end step, bring him leg up high, and come down <laughs> on his end step to break it. Dr. Jackson, how many balls are in that right end step? About two dozen. You imagine what happens if you have to send the impact across that end step. Why are you kicking out, you Gary? Yoko keep coming, Gary. Yoko keep coming. Watch you, Gary. You should have, Gary. And Mikko's with you, Gary. Mikko's with you. Explain why you kick with that so far. When he have his arm out this way, 